Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. Um, we're going to be recording today because I actually got a uh, brief spark of, uh, what do you call this again? Yeah, creativity. So I basically decided, you know what, I got a nice uh, inspiration on what I can make my videos. I get all six of the pop fizzes, and we got Spongebob's house, and Spongebob will be a guest today. Again. But we're going to be talking about what... I basically uh, put, has the title of the video. Wow, my mind is getting really blank today. Eh, well, I haven't slept at all yet, so, and it's like 7 o'clock. I haven't slept since 5 yesterday, so that probably explains why I'm a little sloppy. But we're going to talk about why reaction cha uh, channels suck. Okay, I'm just wondering if the light's on me properly. Because usually I just put on my sweater and brush my hair before uh, getting the videos done or started. You know? We got the... Uh... Ah, crap. What was I going to say? I'm trying to keep a high spirit, but if I think if I had a script, I wouldn't mess up so much. We got all the pop is in the foreground. Again, I just said that. But, um... I would tell you that if I'm ever going to keep my YouTube channel doing something, it's not going to be reaction videos because... That is an old data relic of like back in uh, 2010, yeah, 2010 to 2016. All those six years was basically prime time for being a being a reaction channel. Because nowadays it's just kind of bland. But the reason I actually uh, wanted to make this video is because I looked up Casual Geographic to see if he made another video, and I scrolled down a bit, and it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Because there's a reaction channel right under him some chick like reacted to his videos i'm like bro and i'm thinking some sometimes it's a two-way street because on one hand they're basically stealing your content but the only thing they're adding is just them and the video taking up 75 percent of the screen and then going <gasps> when something happens like it's not that shocking bro and then there's the other half of it if the person all of a sudden stops uploading stuff and they're like oh crap my freaking uh my profit's gone away. That's kind of how they do it. I kind of had that to a certain extent, but that's based off my own creativity. If I even feel like I'm making a video. Ain't that right, Spongebob? I mean, I just brought his whole house. And I just brought six Skylanders. <sighs> well, can't win them all. But, uh, the old general point about why reaction channels are really terrible. It's just the kind on a baseline surface legally you're basically using someone else's content as your content basically hey guys here's why you watch my channel so i watch these crappy videos and react to them with very over exaggerated faces not thinking well that's kind of stupid and then you go to ss sniper wolf territory or nna productions i think he had reaction didn't he have reaction videos yeah i think he had so i was gonna make a video about his about his channel but that thing is dead and gone it's like he ain't coming back. Like at that point, I'm just like taking an invent like a ghost horse. Like my foot's gonna go right into the dirt. And with those reaction channels, you got the SS Sniper Wolf ones, and they have these thumbnails that are basically clickbait. They have her going, and a little red stripe right behind her, and then you got something that's not even actually in the video, which looks, I think, sometimes oddly appealing, and the other one looks like it's too crazy to be true, and it usually is. And then you click on the video, you got her talking in her baby voice, like she's Bonnie from Family Guy for basically a five minute intro. And then she's like, now let's get into the video. And then she clicks her first video from tech, the, the first video she finds on TikTok. She's like, oh, no way. It has literally the blandest reactions I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure a fish can actually emo better than she can. Then she plays maybe two or three more videos. Remember, I don't watch these. I only got a little snippet of them from watching a video about SS Sniper Wolf. I, think, I, I forgot if it was the Briz video or some other one because they had that part where she was a hypocrite because she used to be this girl gamer and there was an actual other girl gamer and she talked crap about her. But this isn't exactly a sniper wolf video. This is just why reaction channels suck. And she basically reacted to three, two or three more videos with the, all the bland emotions and then basically go, hey guys, uh, make sure to watch another one of my videos, subscribe and do that crap. And then she basically has, I think she talks for maybe, let's say, three more minutes. And then she got the outro screen. Which I don't exactly have, but if I had an outro screen, I don't know what it would be. 
I'm only working on my intros because, uh, yeah, I kind of like to have intros. Because I had this original idea where I would basically be in Minecraft, the character on a little rainbow fall. I'd fall off and it'd kind of go down, hit the water, and then the channel name would pop up. But so far, it's kind of a work in progress. Maybe pretty soon I can actually have it properly where I drop and then the name just comes as a banner, not half the screen. I'm getting on to it. Yeah, so they basically have that. You get four recommended videos, and that's a Sniper Wolf, and then there's just some crappy videos that you're probably not going to want to watch. Because their whole fan base is just middle-aged virgin men, 12-year-old horny boys, women who want to be her. And I think on one case, there's a, I think a 10-year-old with cancer. She ended up dying. But um, basically, SS Sniper Wolf tried ghosting her, and... And then basically the fan returned the favor by actually ghosting her. So I'd recommend watching Briz's video on it. Like B-R-I-Z. Like that. Like Briz. Because he's got a really good video on SS Sniper Wolf. And I'm kind of going off topic. But yeah, reaction channels kind of fall under SS Sniper Wolf type of things. Because they have basically someone's other video and they, re and they react to it. And they call that content. I think sometimes, like, you know, like early Hunter Avalon, I think he had something like that, but it was maybe like five videos, and then there's other times where he had it where it would be a reaction to a video, but it would actually be somewhat transformative because, you know, they kind of breached away from him. He'd do jokes, skits, actually talk about what's wrong with the video instead of just going for the 50th time like it's home alone. And so it just depends mostly on reaction uh, videos, but most of the time they're kind of the same thing, copy-paste. You, you can basically... Just watch the original video sometimes, because sometimes a creator might be crap and other times they're good. But when you're watching a reaction video, you can basically have that same video, like, in this big old corner of the screen. And you can, ex like, change out the people. It'd be the same, the same exact thing. They all do exaggerated faces, go, oh, no way, or, oh, crap, that's terrible. And have some that, like, literally has no emotion to it. It doesn't have that primal kick into it. It don't feel like it's legit. Like what I'm doing here. I be, I'm barely even awake and I'm doing this video. I got six pop visits in the foreground, SpongeBob and a pineapple. How sane do you think I actually am? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but with that, um, reaction channel was kind of just follow the same old format. This is probably a nothing video because I'm barely awake and I keep reiterating points I keep talking about. I don't know, probably try to comment and see what type of video you have. Honestly, tomorrow I was thinking about uh, doing another looking back on myself video because I think that could be a series I can actually do. Because I look back at my older videos, talk about why they're crap, and that's it. Because the first video was kind of easy to make. Um, The store video, it was kind of a bad concept, but once I did the looking back at myself, the first video, that one is the perfect way I should do it. Have like... A drawing of myself, so I look like one of those uh, people who have a drawing of whatever is is in the freaking foreground as they're talking about something behind them. But I did it a little different. I think I did well. Ain't that right? Yeah, but that one's kind of muffled because I had to have the camera point downward so I could put it into the bed so I can technically put a picture of myself in the middle like I did in the video. I think I did straight up wonderful with that one. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So, tomorrow we're going to do the midnight stream. Maybe in a couple days after that, I might do something else. Uh, maybe I'll probably do a Skylander thing or something. i got to think about what videos to do. You know, that's actually not half bad. I can do a, something like that. <laughs> Who cares, SpongeBob? I'll, I'll just end the video here. But thank you for watching. Um actually give my channel a chance because sometimes I'm a little boring and sometimes I'm not. It's kind of a stroke of luck. I honestly need to sleep more because my sleep schedule is absolutely like pitiful because I fall asleep at like 7 in the morning and wake up 5 in the afternoon and that just doesn't sound like me. Because I usually, I like to fall asleep at 9 or 10 and wake up at 6. Because that's pretty nice. <sighs> But I did my little old ramble and did that stupid rant. I'm pretty sure I didn't have much sources to back up anything like I usually do. I had basically just memory to go off of, which is pretty good because my memory's pretty good. 
Um, goodbye, bye. I hope you have a good day. I'm pretty tired. Adios.